What's up everyone, Soldier First Class here in today's mission. We've got more Final Fantasy VII Remake news, as Fami2 Magazine has released an article with a lot of new details and screenshots. There's a lot of intel to go over, so stay tuned soldiers. It's time for our next mission. So I woke up this morning to Fami2 releasing an information dump article, and I couldn't wait to spread the news. We've gotten new key art for Tifa and Sephiroth, screenshots of Exploration, screenshots of President Shinra, and new details on the new Soldier character. There was also a focus on the Shinra building itself, so this gives me a theory about the Jump Festa trailer that we'll see in just under a week. So let's start with the new key art for Tifa and Sephiroth. These are remade versions of the original key art, just like the other ones we've received. In Tifa's, you can see that she's in her remake attire, and we're getting our first glimpse of what Nibelheim could look like. The rooftops, the mountains, and the night sky all look amazing. Then there's Sephiroth in the flames, which may be the most iconic scene in the entire game. It's not much different than the original one, just his updated model. These key arts look incredible and were something I couldn't wait to see. Hopefully this means that the Promise flashback will be making its appearance. Now let's talk about the article itself and what the details are from it. We'll be using the Gimatsu translation as Google Translate is absolutely terrible. It began with the key art, but then transitioned into talking about Sephiroth. It states, Sephiroth is famed as the finest member of Shinra's elite soldier unit. His gallant efforts in the war with Wutai made him a hero, and he's inspired many brave youths to join soldier. Sephiroth is believed to have died during a top secret mission, but there may be far more to the story than people know. It then shows these incredible screenshots of Sephiroth in the Shinra HQ in front of the president's desk. This is an in-game screenshot, and it looks incredible. Down to the buckles on his coat, they didn't leave any detail out. It would appear this scene is either right before or right after he's killed the president. It's possible that the president is there, but the left side of the picture doesn't go far enough to tell. It's my guess that this is the party walking in on Sephiroth at some point, or maybe even a scene where the president walks in on him. It then gives a character profile of President Shinra with a few screenshots of him. The article states, The current president of the Shinra Electric Power Company raised the company up from a small arms manufacturer to the massively powerful conglomerate it is today. He can be generous to his allies, but when it comes to business, he's utterly ruthless. He's willing to use cutthroat business tactics to make a profit and eliminate anyone who gets in the way. I love this description of not only him, but of the company. It really sets up how ruthless they are, and they do what they need to do, which makes Shinra the main villains of the first part. We then got a profile for Heidegger and some screenshots of him up close. It states, As well as being the director of public security, Heidegger has been President Shinra's right-hand man since the early days of the company. He's just as ruthless as his boss and will do anything to get what he wants, even sacrifice his own subordinates. He's trusted implicitly by the president, and this has made public security the most powerful department within Shinra. I love this because it makes Heidegger seem more vicious than ever. We remember him for his horse laugh and cruel nature, but I don't think he's ever been shown quite like this. The details such as the scar on his face are really well done, and despite his lack of being fat, he looks incredible. Now this is the character I've wanted to see some more information on, and we finally got a look at who the new soldier character is. His name is Roche, or maybe Roach, and the character profile finally gave us the information we've all been theorizing about. It states, This third class soldier turned rebel is also known as Speed Demon. He loves bikes, speed, and anyone who can give him a challenge. His comrades, however, find him annoying. He constantly squeals his rear tire and makes them choke on fumes of burnt rubber. I'm wondering if the word rebel here means rogue, and that he may not be associated with Shinra anymore. So there you have it. Square Enix has confirmed that this new soldier soldier character is a third class. Maybe the theory about him receiving soldier enhancements is correct, and he'll become a powerful foe later on in the game. This also confirms that this new soldier character is a brand new character, and not anybody from the compilation or extended works. We then got a battle explanation on Aerith, but there was only one or two new things. We learned that Tempest has a charge ability, and will do more damage the longer it's held. This is something we already guessed because of the tiny arrow on the triangle button on her bar. They did accompany this information with some beautiful in-game screenshots, though. We also learned a few of her new abilities. Soul Drain lets Aerith absorb MP from a foe, which will help us rapid-fire more spells. Luster's Shield allows Aerith to summon a magical barrier, which will keep enemies at bay and block projectiles. What's more, any attackers who come into contact with the shield will take damage, so Aerith will be able to block projectiles, which is a really nice tactic for fights against soldiers and mechanical bosses. They also discuss the world of Midgar a little. It states, Final Fantasy VII Remake takes many locations from the original game and redesigns and reinterprets them to add additional depth. The story is more detailed too, with more dialogue, story sequences, and a greater portrayal of citizens' lives. 
It's nice to see that Square Enix is making the effort to make this a living, breathing world. I can't wait to see what they come up with and see how we interact with the citizens of Midgar. We then got a few screenshots of some minor exploration and discovered that we will have a mini-map. The article talks about the train graveyard and gives us more great screenshots of it. We got an overhead shot of the train yard, followed by Aerith, Cloud, and Tifa surveying their surroundings. What's interesting about this screenshot is that it gives us our first look at a mini-map. The area appears to be large and explorable, and that's how I expect the rest of Midgar to work as well. Then it has a screenshot of something kind kind of funny, as it shows Aerith petting one of the ghost creatures from the graveyard. There's one in the background, so Aerith may not know that these are the ghosts, but it's just kind of funny seeing her touching it without being scared. They did mention they'll be adding a scenario to the train graveyard, so it'll be interesting to see how they handle that. We then learned more information about Shiva. It had a few new screenshots and described her abilities. It states, The Queen of Ice, Shiva is one such summon. This frosty figure gives an icy glare to enemies and a loving smile to allies. She skates around the battlefield and manipulates the air to freeze enemies in the blink of an eye. Once summoned, Shiva will fight automatically, but you can also issue commands to make her use specific abilities. Heavenly Strike creates a giant glacier and smashes it down into an opponent. Summons are governed by a special gauge. When it's empty, they'll disappear, but just before they leave, they'll deliver an especially powerful move. In Shiva's case, it is Diamond Dust, a move fans from the original Final Fantasy VII may remember. Shiva encases enemy in ice and then shatters them in spectacular fashion. So basically things we already knew, but nice to see them in screenshots. Shiva is definitely beautiful in Final Fantasy VII Remake and deserving of the title of Queen. The article finished with the discussing of the Shinra building, and this is where my theorizing mind really got to work. The article states, here's a look at another area of the game. The headquarters of the Shinra Electric Power Company is a 70-story skyscraper in the center of Midgar. Up on the upper levels, you'll find the offices of President Shinra and the directors, and a memorial floor where you can learn all about the history of Shinra. Alternatively, head to the Visual Entertainment Hall where you can see the latest technology being demonstrated. It then showed some screenshots of the Shinra building, and the outside looks amazing and really faithful to the original. This time, however, there are guards stationed on the outside of the building, so it looks like either way we choose, we're going to have to fight to begin that mission. We then got a look at the inside of the building, and it featured the display of cars and motorcycles similar to what we saw in the original. It looks incredibly detailed and should be fun to walk around in. Then we got the Shinra break room floor as well, and while we saw it before, we got a different angle of it this time. So for my theory, I think with all this focus on the Shinra building, we're definitely getting that Red 13 and Hojo reveal. There was a lot of focus on just Shinra itself, so the science program seems like the next logical topic for a trailer. I can't wait for Jump Festa and to see what they give us. Overall, we got a lot of great information from this article, and it has me thinking about the Jump Festa trailer. There was a heavy focus on story and locations, especially involving Shinra. The one main character we've yet to see, and the one villain that goes along with him, will likely be in the next trailer at Jump Festa. So what do you think, soldiers? Did you enjoy this information dump? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to omni slash that like button. Let me know in the comments section below if you're excited for the new Jump Festa trailer. Subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell to join the ranks of Soldier today. And for all the latest Final Fantasy VII Remake news, rumors, and trailers, I'm Soldier First Class, and I'm on to the next mission. Later, guys.